word to describe my childhood is chimoku. Silence. I held my breath and shrink myself small. Sometimes my father gave me the look of annoyance, disapproval, irritation, and said nothing. My father is, well, is a well-dressed man, six feet tall, wearing custom suits and custom shoes. He always said posture. And he looked good in suits and tie. My mother, he stayed home. She stayed home all the time. When my father is hungry, she gets up and cook for him. No word exchanged. I'm from hometown of Nagasaki. The view from the airplane, airplane window of my hometown, which is a small island of Nagasaki, is a picture of paradise. It's blue sky, forest green island, sandy beach, beautiful breathtaking ocean, clear turquoise and cobalt blue. But that was not my home. I remember when I was seventh grade, I was looking out the window and thinking to myself, I gotta get out of, I I have to get out of here. I wasn't I didn't exist there. I was invisible. I was very small. So there's a, one word to describe my marriage to Ken was trapped. He was the first guy I had a conversation. I was a, uh, I was a student in Wisconsin, and he was the first guy I had a conversation with. And I thought, oh, he showed me interest. And from, for, for me, that was enough to think that, okay, this is it, and, and marry him. I marry him. And I didn't ask for anything. I didn't take much time. I didn't take much space. I didn't ask for anything. And he showed me interest, right? But I felt trapped. I thought that's all it took to make a marriage. He would provide what I need, and he showed me interest. One word to describe my relationship with Henry was convenience. How we spend the uh, weekend was he watched TV all day and I sat in front of a computer all day. And it was, it made sense because financially, so I share the rent. <laughs> <laughs> and a few years into the relationship, I got pneumonia. I had fever for days and stayed in bed. And I knew something was very wrong. I don't have family here. I don't have a sister to, to take care of me. So I asked Henry to take me to the doctor. And he said no. That was bad enough. I had an appointment with the immigration office to renew my green card. You don't want to reschedule that appointment. So I had fever and had to go to the appointment. I asked Henry to take me to the office, and he said no. I remember I was waiting for the train to go home in a cold, windy day. I felt weak, but I was really pissed off and sad at the same time. 
for what I got myself into. I had a conversation with Henry, and I expressed my unhappiness. And he said, well, we just renewed the lease. I just couldn't, I couldn't believe what I heard. Three years into the relationship, that's all he had to say. And he said, all the relationship over 35 is supposed to be about friendship. Okay, so now, am I to give up being desired and looked at as a woman at age 36? And he was not even a good friend. <laughs> that was fucked up. <laughs> but somewhere, somewhere within me, somewhere in, I don't know where, but somewhere within me, I knew that I deserve much, much more. I can find someone who adores me who adore me and love me for who I am. One morning I was walking to the subway and I had this moment of realization. The sun was, sun was shining down on me. I don't have to go to the gym anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because whoever loves me is going to love me the way I am right now. I don't have to be sides two to be loved. It doesn't matter. I don't have to love laundry. I don't have to love cooking. I don't have to love cleaning like a perfect Japanese wife would. I don't have to do any of that to prove anything to anyone. To describe my relationship with Ryan, is unexpected. I married a man who I never thought that I would marry, a guy who can't tie a tie. Words to describe his, uh, words to describe my marriage to Ryan is fun, easy, connecting, sharing, Sandwiches, <laughs> cinnamon rolls, and pancakes. One day, I was coming back from Japan, looking down the window, and I saw New York City. It was gray, it's messy, it's dirty, it's noisy, but I let go of my breath. I'm home. The model that I had for relationships and marriage is my parents. That's the only model that I had. I didn't know anything about how the healthy and loving relationship looked like. For a woman who is single, who can't see the possibility on the other side. For a woman who is over 35 and they're in, they're in a unhealthy relationship and they're so afraid to leave because you don't see the possibility of the other side. But I do. I see the possibility in them. So there are five things that I want you to take a look at. There are five things. Your woman who would not be anybody's convenience, but women that you stand up for yourself and declare what you want in life. W-O-M-A-N. W, why you want to be in a relationship. O, old pattern. You have to take a look at your old pattern and break them. Shift your mindset. And you have to be in action to get what you want. N, New patterns. You have to repeat the new pattern to get what you want. So by knowing these five areas, 
you will avoid the pothole on the journey, and you can get back up when you're face down on the road. The man who you're looking for is not the guy who's living in the castle at the end of the road. It's the guy who would take the journey along with you, even though he doesn't know how to tie a tie. <laughs> Allow yourself to be acknowledged. Oh, thank you.